Hi there, and welcome to Apple World. It appears to be like the Kivo and Chris Brown's quarrel have recently stirred things up around town level after Woe pulls up on Chris Brown for his diss track named Most Vulnerable Connection, which the whole web has been discussing this previous week. Hip-hop is in a fascinating spot right now, and likewise with how many hamburgers going on, it truly has resuscitated the scene when it was required. So what is actually the deal with the status quo and Chris Brown's circumstances? Make certain to keep close by till the end for all relevant information. There is a paranoid idea circulating that rapper Quo's embarrassing unfilled field gig following their quarrel was brought about by vocalist Chris Brown. The fact that a previous individual from the huge rap bunch Migos performed at a gig that drew moderately little group fans immediately expected that Brown was mindful quo was the fundamental fascination at the Hartford Medical Care Amphitheater in Bridgeport, Connecticut on April 26th anyway. A video film shot throughout the end of the week showed that the right, around 5,700 seat setting, was almost unfilled. Chris Brown, are you serious, brother? I realize you have something to do with this ain't no one at my man quo show today. Chris Brown's come on, brother. I realize you called someone and advised him to close his standoff. Where are individuals? This is terrible. He goes on like this shortly. And no one is here, Chris. Come on, man. Like, you can't do this, my man. Yo, this is awful. This is terrible, brother. The front segment of the crowd is, by all accounts, where the vast majority remain close to the stage with the excess standing space being totally empty. Fans began hypothesizing via virtual entertainment that Brown bought an enormous number of tickets, so the theater would seem vacant. This is first-class level loathing. Hold on until he understands he just gave Quo hella cash for being a critic, so he sold out the scene and got to perform for a little horde of individuals who truly care about his music and were not there to simply take pictures to flex on Instagram. What a misfortune. Perhaps his indicated conspiracy made 50 Penny nostalgic for his prior years. He utilized a similar system from the Gunnett Playbook, that he had utilized in his altercation with Jaw Rule. Fifty Penny made jokes while sharing the show photograph. Since this quarrel started, many fans have pondered where everything started and where we should go. Return to 2011 when Chris Brown began dating Kara Tron, who was a beautician for VIPs at the time. In the end, Kara would turn into an entertainer, yet in late 2014, Chris Brown and Kess would separate after Brown supposedly mishandled her in February 2017. It was accounted for that Cow got a five-year limiting request on Chris Brown after he purportedly compromised her life when he requested that she return jewel rings that he gifted. It appeared like Chris Brown and Migos had a great relationship. Yet things would turn awful in 2017. Harua uncovered that after their separation, Chris would agree that stuff, like in text to her. I'm not being pleasant to you anymore. Assuming I see you out in the open once more and I'm there, I will make you disdain me considerably more. Don't be anywhere. I'm out in the open. I will restrict you from all occasions. I can get my cash back, and I'm worn out from messing around. I will beat the heck out of you, and I guarantee you, I will make your life damnation. She says he additionally once composed Emil Blood under a photograph of her and entertainer Michael B. Jordan. You might have seen that Chris Brown and Kuro have an undeniably challenging past. You might be considering the way that this connects with Kiavo well in 2017. Quo and Karua started dating covertly, despite the fact that Chris Brown knew nothing about it at the time. During his meeting with the Bulletin on April 24, 2017, Chris Brown gave an extraordinary holler and commendation for Migos, as expressed in the accompanying lines. I simply need to yell out to you all, my genuine companions and siblings. Brown said at the time I purchased your collection multiple times, I spent my own cash in, I'm glad for you. I won't ever detest on you thinking about that Kivo was seeing Chris Brown's ex, despite his good faith. These comments didn't mature well by any means. As a matter of fact, many individuals estimated that quo, and Caro's relationship was the reason for the controlling request that let them date in convenience free the connection among Kiavo and Kua would before long become visible when they show 
wet up in broad daylight with one another on a few events Chris Browns, who saw the status the status quo as a sibling and dear companion, would normally resent this, and the fight would officially begin. All of this would finish on June 25, 2017, when the BET grants were held in Los Angeles at the Microsoft Theater. Following the show, Chris Brown and Migos went to an all-nighter close to the Microsoft Theater, where they got together with different craftsmen. It was during this occasion that Quo and Chris Brown got into a battle, with Quo asserting that somebody in his escort pushed him forward, and DJ Ked wound up in the center of the squabble. In the end, some of Moss's team members encompassed Chris Brown's vehicle, yet he got away from applause safe goodness. The people around here got to a champion, Chris Brown. Chris Browns then called out Quo two years straight at a ball post game question and answer session and said he was frightened, and afterward was the new occurrence where they were made to sit close to one another at the Paris Design Week show. Hello, get your butt over here, two seasons straight. Team Lee, you folks are champions. You realize I heard you all get down on certain individuals last year. Definitely, he was terrified. Bring you out of here again. I said it two times. Music. Before we go any further into the video, what are your legit contemplations on this whole circumstance? Is it looking likely the Chris Brown and Quo quarrel will arise? And who in your eyes is winning the fight up to this point? Remark down beneath, which obviously leads us up until now. When Chris Brown dropped his track to Quo named Most Vulnerable Connection, where to be fair, he bodied Quo. And fans cherished the track with posts like, this wasn't no diss. This was a death obliteration. I wasn't expecting Wendy to have the deadliest diss track up until this point. This is dreadful and inappropriate, and I love it. Brother left a mark on the world, a track to be associated with many years. Then in the span of 48 hours, Quo answered with his diss track, named Overhosen, and it didn't seem to appear to be well Chris Brown's most fragile connection, yet fans actually delighted in it for what it is. Web making, a respectable attempt to make you think this was garbage hearing honcho, and take again these new age hip jump fans, don't have the foggiest idea about how hard this is, answering all that Chris expressed and... Put take on it, cause Chris referenced him. This is marvelous to be a piece of I thought quo planned. Subscribe Apple World for more videos.